This is Marcus Bell. He is a coach from England, and this is him coaching in England. And I was so impressed by the way Marcus coaches, and I got to know him for the last couple years online that I had to bring him over to do some Be Better Golf Schools because the way he teaches is so radically different. Push off the floor to get as much speed as you can. Take a big dipper. So the first thing we did when Marcus got over here is we went to this range, and you're gonna see this video about creating the shot that you have envisioned in your mind and making a better connection between what you wanna do and then what you can actually do. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm here with Marcus Bell in California. Hey Marcus. Thanks for coming out. Marcus is coming out here if we're doing uh, Be Better Golf Schools. But this video is just for Be Better Golf. We just did about two and a half hours, so like the first 60 or 70 percent of my golf lesson. We come on to some really cool things. If somebody has like a swing fault, you know, and you hear this from golfers all the time, like for a hundred years I've been sucking it inside and throwing it outside and you can't get over it. So uh, how can we utilize the power of intentions to finally make the golf swing we know we're able to make? Well, it's very much linked to awareness and recognizing what you're doing in terms of the intention. So this often goes unnoticed in everyday life because the body inherently adapts automatically to the intention. So if, I, if for example, if you're kicking a football, yeah. you're going to orientate yourself as necessary for the kick, but there's no thought about the actual organization of it. You're focusing on where the ball's going. Yeah. So it's kind of, you're thinking of the outcome, but you wouldn't start in, for example, if you were trying to kick a soccer ball or play a tennis shot and slice it and stand over here you would naturally orientate yourself into a place. So the alignments and the direction of the swing are really happening automatically yeah. in terms of the intention, but it's what is, what is at the heart of your intention. So a lot of people have become so internally focused on how they move, that external awareness has been diminished somewhat and there's no connection between action and perception. So we can't couple that. So we're making movements, which we have an expectation behind, but the outcome is something quite different. And the, pros the problem is then we can't regulate it because we've not attuned ourselves to these ranges and these tolerances of these movement patterns. So it's about exploration. It's about, it's a, it's a self-discovery journey. And to do that, we need to introduce more variability. So we need to think about, we need to explore different shapes, different shot patterns, but also, whilst doing that, create some feedback loops which enable us to recognize how we are actually actioning this. So we first of all switch our attention externally, then we can start to think about what's the body actually done and how could I actually move in a better way to make this movement easier to repeat or yeah. more efficient. So definitely shifting your attention externally. So throwing a ball, for example, you're thinking of throwing a ball, naturally the, fr the lead foot goes forward, the hand goes back, at no point are you getting Watch involved. This, Marcus. So like, I would love to play golf like this. If I was thinking like, okay, I want it uh, long and low. Yeah. And I want it short and high. Exactly. And I want it to hit that bunny in the ear, but don't kill him. <laughs> All three of those I was able to do within about 3% of what I was thinking. I mean, it, they were basically exactly what my intention was because I've been throwing forever. Do it with your left. Okay. So Backhanded. Backhand. All right, so I wanted to go low and long. There we go. There we go. So there's no there's no map for the left side. I wanted to go short and high. And golf's a double. It's a two-handed sport. And then I want to hit the bunny. Not nearly as good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the map exists for the right hand, but we put the left in, and suddenly now there's some distortion. So that's what we're going to try to do in this video. We're going to be building a golf swing map specifically connected to my lesson where I am a under and on plane golfer that then runs a little bit towards first base yep. or stuff. And we want to get it more out and up and light and then make the whole thing go that way more rather than that way, which is super common for people. So I think people can get a lot out of this. Let's kind of skip to the end and pull out the stick and see, show some of the stuff we've been doing. So essentially some stimulus here visually to kind of reorientate the movement. So what I want you to do is, um, first of all, we're gonna explore the through swing because a lot of people don't really think of the through swing that it's almost an afterthought. It's kind of the golf, the golf club just swings through and yeah, the obsessive it's kind of they got the, well, take away, back swing, the first two feet and all that. And it's kind of, 
or the first foot is kind of what we want to do first if you're thinking of throwing a ball you're very much aware of this space not so much this space to start with yeah, okay yeah. so sure. what i want to do is just set up to the or you can say let's make some practice swings first sure. i just want you to make a backswing just looking at the hoop for me yeah. so make a backswing and then look oh, okay yeah. So we can start to differentiate between these, these areas. Ooh, that was lower. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try that again. Here to here. We can pretty much expect what kind of shot this would create. Sure. So if we have shifted in this direction and using this space with that release pattern, we can start to recognize face and path a little bit because we go into the extremes to be honest but we are going to talk about backswing because it is a, the backswing's preparing us so now what we can do is actually keep that there and i want you to match the backswing to the through swing and just hold your finish and just hold the finish okay now just let's do it again but let's make a half half a swing brendan so i just want you to make half a swing and hold your finish and hold it there okay stay where you are you're going to start and stop from here. Get ready. Yep. Now I want you to swing back and through in this direction. Stay where you are. Stay in the finish. Mm -hmm. Now there. Okay. And now stay there. Stay there. Not yet. Now here. Okay. Yeah, you really make the connection between the backswing should match the intention of the the, through. the yeah. whole motion and not only the direction horizontally but vertically so also the steepness so when i was going down there to the left you were suddenly starting to in introduce more of a steeper angle of attack sure. shifting the swing direction changing the path changing changing the impact dynamics so without thinking of the impact dynamics what we would do is take a divot as well so there's some interaction with the ground yep. in, a, in a way that is not going to be unfamiliar when we actually play a shot because this is going to happen okay yep. So let's go again. I'm going to cover you in mud here. Yeah. So I'm going to move this, just a three quarter swing, just looking at this, and then look again. That's it. Very good. Okay. Okay, and what, what would that ball have done? Trap low and fade. A okay, bit let's do it. Let's see if it happens. Very good. Yeah, exactly. That was great. So when the, the divot gives you feedback now. Mm -hmm. You're getting feedback from the direction the club was swinging. There's intention behind the movement and you're starting to develop a pattern recognition, not just with the club, but with the body. So you can start to appreciate how you're moving, the movement form you're making, the shape of it to create that swing with the club for the shot you're in, envisaging. Okay. And that's been influenced by where this is. So yeah. if I was to say on a clock face, so we can start to reference this in terms of a template. So we can go on the course, this will travel with you wherever you are, if that's 12 o'clock and that's six o'clock, I've got a feeling of the direction I'm swinging in with a particular shot in mind. Yeah, I'm just so, going to paint a picture for people here. So that would be 12 noon. Yeah. That would be six. Yeah. So normally my swing is about 4.30 to, uh, what would that be, 10 o'clock? Yeah. Right. So in order for me to feel that one that you just did, that would feel more like 1.30 to about 7.00. Exactly. And then, so that would be this component of it. And then there would be a different component of, of the steepness. Too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we go up, up, up or down. You. All right. So what's the intention of the launch of the ball? It's just like throwing a ball. You're looking where you're going. Action follows vision and it's hand-eye coordination in terms of the feel of the release. But you're looking where you're going. So you want, the thing about golf is we're not looking where we're going. So we're looking down here and we're going this way. It's like throwing a ball like this. Sure. Yeah. So you've got to really use the memory of the map to give you a very precise execution of the movement. So the follow through is so important because we're not going to be looking in that direction when we swing. So when we're making practice swings, actually looking where we're going and feeling, if you like, the path of the hands or the path of the club, the trajectory that you're, you're moving yeah. around the body with the club. So you can start to get a feel of the space you're using with an intention of the shot behind it and also the steepness. Are you going down? Are you going up? What's the kind of shot you want to hit? Does the, move, does the movement match the intention? So we know typically, like you just explained, you go a little bit in, a bit around here, and you've had a, a lot of instruction and 
very aware of what you do. Yeah. You've got a, an idea of where you want to take your golf swing. What this is giving you here is a map to start yeah. to explore and start to shift as well. So you can, I would say, let's take a setup. Okay. And let's, let's do a swing now, just a half a swing, but I want you to just look at this all the time now. Just look yep. at this. And play a shot, that's it, just a, there you go. And again, I'm gonna move it down here. And again, so where do you feel the backswing match up on the clock face? Okay, yeah, uh, what, like what, 130 or two. 130 or two. Yep. And is that, if on a trajectory of, is that, think of it as a, on the backswing, as an aeroplane taking off, is it shooting straight up? Is it kind of a gradual takeaway or is it? It's out and it has got to get up. It's got to get up. Yeah, it's got to get up. So as you go more out, you're going more, you're going up earlier. Yes. Okay. So now let's explore that. Just, a th I want you to look at this all the time now. Just a little three quarter swing and play the shot looking this way. Okay. Just always looking forward. So it's going to be a shorter swing because it's going to be restricted. And, uh, okay. uh, looking, looking, always looking Always looking, always looking forward, <laughs> yeah. Trying to imagine where the ball is. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and again. Good thing I gave you the long stick. <laughs> Got complete faith in you, Brendan. <laughs> All right, that's one of us. Yeah. Okay. Low well cut. done. Yeah. Trappy. So this feels strange, but in any other form of your life, in terms of movement, it would be comfortable because you're looking where you're going. You yeah, when you I threw that this. at the bunny, it was... I was out there looking at yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is, a, this is how we normally organize with vision. So let's have another go. Down here now. Oh yeah, it's funny because I'm starting to put two and two together where the more you go there, the higher and the more out it's going on the backswing. Okay, okay. now have a go without looking forward so now a normal shot same feel a little shorter shot yeah I'm going that's good quality yeah now the now the ball's giving you some feedback the flight's giving you feedback on where you can go with your movement okay yeah so in terms of where the ball what where the yeah. ball went that's going to give you feedback in in terms of where you can go now with your movement and also the steepness of it yeah on the way back did the steepness match the actual direction of the swing going back? What do you mean? So did you swing, were you trying to go, were you trying to go out, but you just used the hands and not the club? Or could you feel the club go out with you? Yeah. It didn't feel quite as light as it should, I think. Okay, yeah. so there you're giving me feedback on the weight of the club. That's how you're recognizing where it is in space too. That was perfect. So let's go into a to space that you might feel fairly comfortable is drawing, but a low draw. Okay. So if I was going to do the start off with those, just looking at it. Yeah. Okay. I'll try to hit one. Yeah. That's great. And again, doesn't need to be as high and light. It can be a little heavier and yeah, a little yeah. more in. Shot. Very good. Yeah. The reason, if you guys are watching this wondering that neither of us are wearing shoes, Marcus does GRF golf, and that stands for ground reaction force. Put in a comment something that would be funnier, a funnier acronym for GRF. <laughs> and that, it'll be a good contest. What we were doing on, the, on this is one of Marcus's training aids, that's one of Marcus's training aids, He's, and we have a whole bunch of these. Just do a little circle around uh, George of all of our stuff. Just do like a little circle. GRF system behind, GRF behind, system Brent, behind, behind Brendan. Yep. And then we were over here as well. And we've got a lot to explore this week. And then this was very important too and painful. That's why we're not No pain, shit. no gain. We have a whole lot more from this lesson oh, okay. coming out. Excellent. Plus we did another long video about lag. And then we did a huge three hour lesson with me that we filmed all of. All the raw footage from when Marcus was here is gonna be coming out on the join button on the page below. Also go over to GRF on YouTube here and follow Marcus's page.
lots of cool stuff coming out. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button. That's the most important thing. And let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, bye.